Good morning, everybody. I am Evan Salinas. And I'm Estella Hernandez with Hernandez & Associates. Thank you for joining us on another YouTube video. Thank you for your calls. Uh, I mean, I, I can't thank you enough for all your calls. Um, you know, we love to help you however we can to answer your questions. And if we don't have an answer, we'll get one for you. And just thank you for subscribing, following, and checking out our website, uh, asking us questions on the website. We're here for you. That's right. So you have a TBC permit you want to apply for, be sure to check out the website, hernandezandassociates.com. Should be on your screen right here. <clears throat> this week, so was it last week? Last week. Maybe. Last week we went to the TBNA conference or convention. August, August the 15th. Some of y'all said y'all saw us there. Should have said hi. Would have loved to meet you guys. This time we're going to be going over taxes and how they work with your uh alcohol sales paid to uh, the state comptroller texas yes. state comptroller so we got a few things we're going to go over here we're trying not to go too long um this particular attorney that was talking about this had a lot of great information uh and and it would take at least a 30 minute to an hour and a half class to teach a lot of this stuff because it was so good but we're going to go over and give you the cliff notes of it if you didn't make it just we do want to say first of all we would like to say that of course we're not cpas we're not attorneys um this information or suggestions that this particular tax attorney um gave uh, during this session so the first thing he <laughs> talked about right out of the gate was you need to understand that you're really partnered with the comptroller so just think of it that the comptroller is going to get their cut of every of the sales that you make and you need to factor that in and it's 14.9 percent. so you just figure 15 percent of your sales 15 cents for every dollar is going to the comptroller mm -hmm. so just have that in mind that they're your partner in business and it's really important to keep it i always stress this to all our new applicants to all applicants even if renewals uh we need to you know make sure that you stay current with your monthly reports or quarterly however you're paying if it's sales tax um, you know liquor tax or whatever but pay your taxes to the comptroller and this also includes your franchise tax some people don't think that you know that's part of uh, the taxes or whatever but franchise tax as well if you have uh, your permit under an entity corporation limited liability company um you know there's a franchise tax that's due every year uh, so that's another tax that will uh interrupt your your tabc permit you know uh when it comes time for to renew so that's really important that we try to stress that and to follow up to that on the on the topic of tracking make sure that you're consistently tracking not only your sales your food mm -hmm. sales your alcohol sales but keep track of any comps that you're doing, mm -hmm. any spillages y'all have. And then whenever you file the report with the comp comptroller, make sure that you're assigning a value to those comps. Because if you don't, they will. Definitely. And so you would rather be the one that's setting that number instead of them. And so, especially too, if you don't file your reports, they will also estimate what you should have reported and that's what they're wanting to collect until you give them accurate figures and exact figures of what the sales were uh, for whatever period of time because they are going to estimate the, yeah. the taxes and this is going to be uh two whenever they're going to come and audit you those estimates i mean they're going to estimate it whatever they feel like if you don't have any kind of documentation to back it up on your side. So they're gonna be making up those numbers and you need to know that the best way to defend yourself is just to have, you know, to really track these things consistently, whatever that means to you. You know what I mean? It'd be nice if it was in a spreadsheet or, you know, you had some sort of software that was tracking it, but if you don't, at least consistently do whatever it is that you're doing to track these sales, comps, spillages, all of these things. That's what he really stressed was yep. to keep good records. Um, he really stressed that a, a lot <laughs> during his whole entire session, how important it was uh, to avoid audits or even if you were to be audited, <clears throat> to have all your documents in place or your your uh, records. They what? also talked about comps and how much uh, comps would uh, cost. Um, say in, a, in if somebody was to comp several drinks or or bottles of beer, mm. uh, you know what? How much that would be costing you on the long run uh, if you they were doing that a lot, consistently comping drinks. Uh, so that was something that he also talked about. If you look at it, you know how many beers or whatever mm. had been comped, and then in what amount of time 
frame uh, and then what it would cost you so yeah he said that it, it just and this was an older presentation but he was saying that just one beer a night would cost mm -hmm. you two thousand dollars a year and mm -hmm. so you imagine you know you're you know letting 10 go a night i mean you're talking twenty thousand a year i mean it really starts to add up really fast mm -hmm. uh, so just something the last thing he said is if you start getting a lot of uh literature and advertising <laughs> that you're you know for representation uh, during a tax audit it's likely that you may be getting audited soon so be on the lookout if you notice oh wow this is odd you know i mean we're getting a lot of uh, uh tax uh, consultants consultants reaching out this is strange mm -hmm. uh, it's probably because uh, they're seeing that you might be about to uh, you're you know you might be audited soon so just kind of keep uh, that in mind from the what he mentioned uh, was that some of these consultants have uh, worked previously uh, with the with state the with the state controller's yeah. office and so they were kind of aware of how it works main things to wrap it all up remember uh, that the comptroller is your partner in business. Mm -hmm. Two, track all of your sales, if possible, comps and spillages in some sort of consistent manner, if you would, uh, and keep the best records that you can. Um, three, uh, if you start getting a lot of advertising, just know that you may be getting audited soon. Mm -hmm. And um, four, you know, seriously think about getting some sort of representation. You know, mm -hmm. this isn't a plug for him. He's not paying us to say this, but mm -mm. just if you're going to get anybody, just, you know, do, do your own due diligence. Uh, you know, we're not endorsing this guy or anything like that, but uh, do your own due diligence on whoever you're going to get that's going to mm -hmm. represent you. If you do want his information and are interested in calling him just to see how much, you know, it how much he charges or what the consultation is or whatever, we'll, you know, we'll let you know, just contact us and we'll pass on the information so you can contact him directly. Um, so like I said, you know, we're not endorsing him or anything. Um, I think it's really important that, you, that, uh, you know, your CPA, whoever you hire <clears throat> to take care of your books, you know, that you also look at, you know, who your CPA is, uh, so that you're not, you know, filing late, that you are current, um, that your franchise is up to date and everything is kept up to date. So we always stress to look into getting a CPA. I know sometimes it, it, it's expensive, uh, but it's really, I think in the long run, um, very helpful when say a possibility of an audit comes up. Um, so anyway. It's cheaper than the alternative, if you think about it. I mean, mm -hmm. you could even average it out of what you pay your CPA a year versus you know you get a humongous tax bill and you're like all of a sudden you're like man i should have i should have paid somebody to look at these mm -hmm. you know somebody that's familiar with your type of business as well i think mm -hmm. is important yes and of course like we said we're not cpas we're not um, attorneys we're here to help you with your licensing mm -hmm. but we do try to bring you some information that we find uh, that will be a benefit to you if you have any questions, be sure to contact us on the website, hernandezandassociates.com, on the page right here in front of you. I am Evan Salinas. And I'm Estella Hernandez with Hernandez & Associates. Thank you again so much for uh, joining us on another YouTube video. Uh, thank you for liking, subscribing. Thank you for checking out our website. Thank you for your messages, your phone calls. Just thank you all the way around. Um, take care.